One and welcome back. This is Jake with your weekly sports podcast, not just a game. Um, and as we've been doing throughout this entire pandemic and through our COVID-19 era, we've been reaching out and trying to get the guests to kind of bring everything home and let us know. Sometimes we're trying to catch up with some of the folks out there that um, aren't quite right near us or maybe not right next to us. And that's what we're going to do again today. I've got three gentlemen from Freeport. We have the McShane brothers. I have Steve, Vance, and Dion. And if you're from this, anywhere's from this area, you know about the McShanes. You know about the McShanes coming out of Freeport. Um, a lot of sports uh, accolades have flown their way and are still flowing their way. And it's going to be really cool to catch up with all three of you. Got some exciting things going on. Some decisions have had to be made. Um, so let's jump right into it, guys. First of all, thanks so much for joining us. This is a, a real treat for me. Yes, sir. Shout out everybody. Shout out to your free sport people. I'm telling you, you guys got a lot of fans around here. I know that much. Um, and I, I mean, I feel like I've been covering you guys almost your whole life. So um, I'm a little bit of a, a fan. I've been watching you guys so much as well. Steve, let's start with you. 24 years old. You played baseball and football at Western Illinois University. Um, but let's catch up on your, your more recent uh, adventures here. You caught on with an XFL team there back in January, and that was a that was a hot hot thing going on with the with the new XFL. Um, and then you got started. You barely got started, and tore your Achilles. Um, and that was it for the XFL adventure. F run us through that real quick. Give us an idea of what you went through the the emotional roller coaster that was that little stretch for you. I mean, like you said, it is definitely a little roller coaster, but you know, everybody faced that adversity. Uh, I mean, for us, it's really not adversity. It's just you fall down, how quick you can get back up. So, you know, in these these few months, this past year, it's been a little tough for me. You know, not knowing, you know, when I'll be back and how it's going to work out for what's next. So, you know, I'm not really worried about what's going, what's next. You know, right now, I'm just getting right getting rehabbed up and then you know whatever goes after that it's, it's go time was it literally like day two of your xfl career yeah yeah it was literally day two. Oh my god <laughs> well um, i was there for the weekend i was there for the weekend but you know no second practice yeah second practice what happened right give me the uh, it was <laughs> i mean it was a freak accident a basic bag drill you know i go over the bag go forward and you know my key was pop you know I couldn't do anything about it I was looking down for a second I'm like oh man this didn't just happen you know you, you want you want to think it's just you know like an ankle sprain or something and then you know you get put out for the season like oh man I said well you know <laughs> move on let's move on so you know it's been an adventure for the most part but you know I'm moving forward for sure well, like you say, what doesn't beat you down will make you better. It'll make you tougher. And you come out the other side more of a man. Um, what? There's a lot of question marks then. What I mean, so how much more rehab do you have before you, f you feel like you're 100% and you can jump right back into whatever you want? Well, I mean, you, you just never know what an Achilles. You can't go too fast. You can't, you know, you can't sit down too much because it, it, it has to get work. You know what I'm saying? So... I typically, realistically, I give it about two or three more months or so, but you know, you never know. Okay. Um, and I mean, you still got a lot of athletics in your body and in your mind still, right? Are you still shooting for, um, what are your goals? What are, you've always, you've always set your goals very high, man. And you've usually accomplished them. I mean, being an athlete, you an athlete, you know, you don't go for the highest goal. I mean, <laughs> that's just part of my lifestyle, part of what's in my blood. So uh, I try to do as much as I can, whenever I can, and be successful at it. Good. Oh, it's been fun so far. I, I got a feeling we're going to keep an eye on you. And <laughs> there'll be more. There'll be more. Um, all right, Vance. 
It's your turn, buddy. I want to hear what's up, what's up? Next. And, and Dion, don't let Dion go far. He's next too. I want to hear nah, from you. Right. <laughs> you guys can go ahead and do a little homework off to the side or whatever while you're waiting. That's fine. <laughs> so Vance, you're 22. You've been playing football now at St. Xavier. How many years you've been there? How many seasons? Uh, two. Okay. Right now. Okay. Yeah. And you're playing the season. Back? You've been you've been racking up the the numbers here this past couple of seasons, and now to walk me into where you were at when COVID nineteen came into our lives uh, seven eight months ago, whatever it was. I was like right at the end of uh, indoor track season, and um, I was just getting ready for um, what was it? Was it? Uh, Nationals. Yeah, I was getting ready for nationals. Uh, yeah, 60 meter dash. And next thing that curveball came and <clears throat> they told us, yeah, you guys got to go home. So I was like, man, I really just did all that practice for no reason. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're running, running our lungs out. <laughs> yeah. And did you, could you have ever imagined back then that it would be this long until we'd even be starting to talk about getting back out there for something um because saint xavier's naia right yeah okay and you guys i mean basically everything is now pushed to the spring that's what we're hoping now right yeah that's the hope <laughs> okay. what have you been able to do with football well wait before we get into that so football being pushed to spring that kind of throws another wrinkle into things for you too, you and Dion as well. And we'll get to Dion here shortly, but you wanted to do, you wanted to play football and run track and field. Is that going to be possible now? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> for me, um, track was just like to get a little faster for football and, you know, just stay in shape. Cause you know, we, we got spring ball, but I don't know. I wanted to uh, run track to break the record. <laughs> But they haven't really told us anything about a uh, track season as of right now. It's just really getting ready for the spring season, hopefully. Oh, so track's more on hold, whereas but football, you guys have a target date, and you kind of know what you're looking yeah. for. What's the team looking like real quick, Vance? Are you guys looking like world beaters? You got a, a great team ready to rock or what? Yeah, um, on the defensive side, we got 10 starters back, and then um, – on the offensive side, it's like the whole offensive line, I'm pretty sure, is back. And then um, me and another slot receiver. So it's about seven guys. Hey, nothing, sitting, yeah. nothing a running back likes more than having his whole line back, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Here>. <laughs> Bring it on. Do you have uh, some goals for your for this season if, once we get back on the – back on the field and start to tear it up. What do you, what, what can you do this season? Yeah, definitely. Uh, <clears throat> my number one goal is to um, get as many touchdowns as my number. <laughs> so 24. <laughs> 24. And, uh, yeah, Again. as far as yards, I mean, you know, it, it comes, you know. So my goal is to try to get like 2,000 all purpose, but <clears throat> you know, you gotta aim higher than that sometimes. So. I really don't know. <laughs> it could be 3,000, 4,000. <laughs> yeah. Nobody have it to see. It's about to be crazy, though, whenever we get back on the field. That's amazing. Keep going. I love yeah. your guys' mindset. It's like there's there's nothing going to hold you guys back. That's, <laughs> I think that was all three of your guys' mindsets back in high school at Freeport as well. Um, it's It's a confidence thing with you guys, isn't it? Um, oh yeah, I you must have been born with it. I think that's something that's just in your DNA. It, it's in your genes. Um, Dion, <laughs> let's let's slide over to you. Twenty years old, Dion. <laughs> University yes, sir. Of Northern Iowa. What year are you at Northern Iowa now? I'm a junior now. Okay. Um, junior so, fast. That's crazy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> and you you also got your season pushed, your football season pushed to the spring. Now, um, you were you kind of hoping or planning or definitely going to do track this year if all this COVID crap hadn't happened? Oh, yeah, I was definitely going to do I was going to do indoor for sure. And I didn't I didn't know if I was going to do outdoor just because we had spring ball at the time. But indoor for sure, I was going to run the hurdles. Okay. 
And just for a little background, Dion, how many state championships did you win in hurdling back in high school? I had <laughs> three. <laughs> Was it I, three? I had three. Okay, I didn't want to undercut them. I figured your bros would know. They were keeping track. <laughs> Um, so it so first of all is it how how tough is it is it hard for you not to be able to do track and field this season again then no not really I mean I focus on football way more than I do track but I say when I get the chance to do track I just go all out okay so it's not like a heartbreaking setback for you it's more um, football is, is, is more what you put on the top. And, and as long as you get that in, right. Yeah. Just like, uh, my senior year when, um, I was at state and I pulled my hamstring, I was focused on getting to you and I just for football yeah. more than tracking. Just, uh, when I got the chance to run, whenever my coach said I could just go in, go in there and do whatever I could. I'll never forget that. You, you literally pulled your hammy at state, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh just about to reel in a couple more state champions. <laughs> yeah, um, hey, I mean, you guys have done that. You guys have had all these obstacles. You've had crap thrown in front of you and you just overtake it. You get through it. And it seems like you come out stronger every time, um, which is what I'm thinking is probably going to happen with Steve again as well. Dion, give me a take. Give me your take on what this – um, football season is going to mean to you. Hopefully you get started in February. Hopefully you get to have a nice full schedule with everything we've gone through. What will it mean a little bit more to get to that point and get on the field? Yeah. It's like, so like, this is a big year for me. Everybody know the junior year is probably your biggest year in college football. So when I get back, we will have eight games to start off with. And then we do have a, a playoff set for the season. Right. But then after that, we will go into into a whole new season, which is a 12 game. And then this is going to be the, the switch over is going to be kind of hard. But at the same time, I'm ready for it. you and I prepare us for it. So I'm not really worried. But I, I plan on I plan on being an All-American. Like I work too hard <laughs> for me not to be. So, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. Just a little all American. That's about it. No biggie. Um, I again, I'll, I'll be shocked if you guys don't all reach your goals. Um, let Vance. Let me go back to you real quick. What do you take back? Do you do you use much of what you learned back in your Freeport High School days now? whether it be mentally in your preparation or mentally in your patience and waiting. Um, but, but how do you reach back to what you learned back in your, in your Freeport days nowadays? Um, I would say probably just self-motivation, you know, um, really just get coming up with something of your own, you know, just, going out to out the blue just doing whatever you can to get to where you need to be and as far as like your goals and stuff um i know from high school to college i uh i would say i'm a little more patient from the ball at least mm. um as far as that really yeah i don't know i was a little hot-headed in high school <laughs> <laughs> but like now now i'm <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm mature a little bit now. I had to grow up sometime, right? Yeah, as you, yeah, as you get older, you grow up. So I've been told I'm going to have to do it sooner or later as well. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what, what do you take back from your Freeport days and your high school days? Um, is there some lessons you learned back back when you were in that grind back then that you still reach down and 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 use today? I mean, of course, I mean, you know, I always haven't been the biggest guy on the field and, you know, everybody kind of just me getting into the FCS, you know, I, I knew deep down that I was a better player than going into the FCS, but, you know, just because of my size and honestly, maybe with the league, you know, my goals are like, I'm trying to get to the league and, you know, things be holding me back because of my size, but, you know, I move, I'm trying to move on from all that stuff and, you know, just take it day by day like, Man, Steve, you, you really like that. So don't think about anything when anyone else says. Just go forward and do what you got to do to 
and be there. You know what I'm saying? Any part of you still say, man, I still want to play baseball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was my first love. That was the first thing I picked up in my life was that baseball bat, you know? I remember back in the day hitting all those home runs and Little League, I'm like, oh, I'm about to be the best baseball player in the world one day. <laughs> and then I, that first day I picked that football up, I was like, ooh. Uh -oh. I said, this feel a little different now. It's been a little different. I felt it in my bloodstream. So, yeah. you know, it'd it be, it be coming back every once in a while. But, you know, wherever life takes me, you know, I got to go the best path. Dion, where's life going to take you? Uh, well, right now, I place myself around greatness, to be honest. So, like, <laughs> yeah, right, right here. Right now, just now, now, and just like at school, we have multiple NFL players that come back just to work out. So I work out with the NFL players. David Johnson, he came back, worked out with him, got a good workout in. So just like placing yourself around great, great things. I mean, great people will end up having great things. So that's all I do. Yeah. Well, it's, I think we've got some more following to do of you. You've got a lot more career left in you. Maybe yeah. all three of you. Um, I, it wasn't that long ago. We talked about, you know, the possibility of all three of you being in the league someday and lining up a, uh, on the opposite sides or on the same team. I mean, is there still, <laughs> you guys sit around the Thanksgiving table and still talk about that kind of stuff? All the time. Yep. Yeah, all, the time. Here. <laughs> all the time. He's still lot. young. He's still young. We haven't hit our primes yet. You bet. Steve, you're 24, Vance 22 and Dion 20, right? Yep, yep, sir. Lots of time. Lots of time. Let me say you guys have been, and I know I've I've told you guys this at separate times, but I really appreciated having you guys around and, and being able to cover you. Not only are you studs in whatever you do, um, but you're class acts. You're really good guys. And that makes a big difference. And if you think people don't notice that you're crazy people notice that um and that's why you have so many fans and why you have such a big following um so don't don't ever lose that all right you guys are really good dudes and that's that's important um and, and it that's a big reason why i wanted to get you on this podcast and let everybody get a little little taste of who you were thank you so much thank you so much real quick you guys you guys <laughs> Uh, one at one at a time. Maybe give throw out a little love back home, or what do you got? You got a message for your people back home in Freeport? Hang hey. in there, kind of thing. Steve, start yeah, no, we, yeah, yeah, we got we got a couple things. And <laughs> shout out to Freeport, Freeport, <laughs> shout out to Freeport, shout out to mom and pops for making some beasts. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, you got to got to put that in there. Shout nice. out Freeport. Uh, definitely. Uh, as far as like the kids, you know. Follow your dreams. Never tell. Never let somebody tell you that you can't do something. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going. Keep striving for greatness and be the best you could possibly be. Mm -hmm. nice, yes, man. sir. Nice. Dion, what, what do you tell the little Dion fans out there? <laughs> <laughs> I would tell them, hey, praise God, because he's the only one that's giving you the opportunity you are having. And uh, keep grinding. Whatever, you, anything you do in school, sports, anything in life is never going to come easy. Beautiful. Great stuff. Steve Vance, Dion McShane of Freeport. Um, three guys we've been following closely and we're not done following you guys. Thank you guys. This has been awesome. Let's do it again soon. All right. Oh, wait, Thank wait, you. wait. I got one more person to Yo. shout out. Yo. Shout out my shout out my trainer. Shout out my trainer, Neil Sheath, man. That's my, <laughs> that's my dude. That's my dude. Yes, sir. They all down in they, me and my brothers be here in Texas training with him right now. So shout out to him. Nice. He's nice. A guy. We can tell from your tight shirts that your trainer's doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, guys. This was a blast. Thank you for joining me. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it.